What up, people? What up? Shanny here. It's been four days since my last video, I guess, man. And, um, I just want to say, yo, what's up? Like, like, right now, I'm, like, chilling out, and we're going to play some Stardew Valley. I have some delicious Coca-Cola Zero and Dr. Pepper Zero. I also have partaked in a beautiful, like, sandwich that I'm going to be eating during this live stream. Um, some delicious Lay's barbecue. These are so good. Like, I don't know what they did recently, but Lay's barbecue are so good. And then a cookies and cream pop tart you love the green maniac monday thank you thank you very much i i i enjoy the green myself i think the green is absolutely just remarkably beautiful on me i i i, I i'm 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 loving this actually too so i'm just like i i just enjoy being a chameleon let's just say i enjoy it i like it i was going to think maybe i should wear the tiara because it's also green like Let's, let's, like, throw me. We'll put the green tiara on with the camouflage. There we go. Queen of white trash right there. It makes my eyes pop. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, so how is everyone? Me? I've been fighting the COVID. I've been fighting it. Oh, let me show you. I've been taking this stuff, so I've been like really out of it. Can I have the honey baby? Oh my God. This stuff right here. This is NyQuil honey flavor. Okay, let me ha give you story time. They're blue. And apparently they have glow or uh, gold flecks around the iris. So most people get wowed by my eyes but anyway this honey cold and flu nyquil okay so this is some wild stuff we just take the normal amount you know the little cap thing of it right I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, after we took this stuff, we done slapped about an hour, a, a day and a half with this stuff in our system. We could not stay up with this stuff in our system. This is lethal stuff, man. Thank you, the most dreaded pirate, Roxo. Thank you. So, this, this is crazy stuff. It really works very well. 
you know, but I'm still, I, I still cannot beat the COVID at all. It just, it just, it's like a forever fucking cold. And my nose is so raw from constantly like rubbing it and shit like that. It's awful, man. Like, and everyone's catching it now. Like, everyone's catching it. There's nothing we can do. It's all over the place. And then a bunch of people are dying. I mean, it's just, it's just like crazy. Like, every week there's someone coming to me and saying someone within their family or someone amongst their friend has passed away. And I'm like, wow. And then you go to the grocery store and they're getting emptier looking and emptier looking. And, and, and there's less people you see. Eucalyptics bath salts and body wash have really helped me and my family. Yeah. Irish Springs is... Thank you, Salen. Irish Springs is really nice. So... I'm losing my mind because I'm not feeling good. I don't know what to do. So I figured why not play some Stardew Valley and, you know, eat and chill and relax with you guys. Because I, I, my sleep is so messed up now. Hey, Mr. Mr. Get Jobs, okay? Let me, let me, let me just, let's communicate right now, because obviously you need attention, okay? Why are you being so cut, cutthroat, sir? What is your problem? What do you need? Do you need something? Do you need something? Because, you know, I, I could say... I do have a job, uh, but I wouldn't tell you if I did have a job, so you don't know anything what's going on in my personal life, man. All I want to say is, like, saying stuff like that, like what your name is, is, is... Really? It very is, man. He's he's gonna find another woman and cheat on her too. So, true. like, once a cheater, always a cheater. He's just gonna end up one day not being happy with his pathetic life anymore and blaming it on the woman and hating on the woman and cheating on her. This is a pattern with him. This is what he does. You know. I'm sure I have a name, too. Like, he, he, the last girl he was with, he called her Ouch Girl. Because he always hurted her during sex. So he called her Ouch Girl. Which is gross. I mean, he wasn't good in bed, so I can see why she would be like, Ouch. You know? Chris is very smart. Yeah. Sure. And when he faces God and Jesus and they ask, why did you have an affair on your wife? What is he going to tell them? Because he's without excuse. There's no excuse you can give for an actual affair. So, is he very smart? Spiritually speaking, he's dead. And he's going to hell. Unless he repents. So. He called me Shrek Alina. That 
That's nice. I mean, I loved him. You know? Alright, you're going block now. You're just a mean-spirited person, man. You need to, like, get that rainbow connection. You know? Go, go look up rainbow connection and listen to the song and try to change the type of miserable person you are. You know? I loved Chris. I gave him everything I had. So, you know, he can call me names all he wants, but... I loved him and was a way better person toward him than he was to me. So I win at the end of the day. You see what I mean, man? I I believe in karma. And I don't even know why you're bringing up Chris. It's like the relationship happened five years ago. It, it, like, I've changed as a person. He changed as a person. You know... I definitely wouldn't have been with him if I knew I was going to waste seven years of my life thinking I'm giving my whole life to someone just for them to cheat on me with my best friend. I mean, you could go and try to make Chris out to be a, a great person, but he literally did physically cheat on me with my best friend. There's another misconception, man. I hit a tree with an axe when I found out he cheated on me. I was pissed. I was beyond pissed and my brain shattered and I kind of lost it on a tree with an axe. Like, when I went to the mental hospital because I tried to kill myself. Um... Because I, like, when I say I loved him, I really, 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 like, loved him more than any other human being I have ever loved. And he broke me as a person. But I told the cops, I was like, it's better to take an axe to the tree than to his face. And they were like, good point. And the whole time I remember I was like bashing this male cop because he had a penis. And all the women I treated with decency cause, and, and told them that they could do better than all the men they're with. Um, you know. Did he destroy my clothes? Yeah, with bleach, man. Even more than Rev. Oh, I love Rev. Don't get me wrong. I love him, but... Chris had this, like, level of trust that was completely innocent and pure, and he broke that from me. Like, I don't have that trust for anyone, and he was, like, the last straw of having that, like, innocent pure trust you know what I mean I can't give that to anyone anymore cause it's like it's not it doesn't exist in me like I don't trust shit from anyone anymore because of what he done to me you know it's like you could have been honest you could have told me you were like falling for angel you know, you, you could have listened to me that your brother started shit with me. Um, you know, you, you could have done a lot of stuff. 
you know, but cheated on me with my best friend and betraying me like that, I just like... Well, it would be nice to give it to him, but it's, like, literally not there anymore. Like, I can't give something that isn't there that I don't have. Like, it was very innocent type of trust, like, and it's gone now. It's like, I don't have that for anyone anymore. Like, no one. Like, you're not going to fool me anymore. I've gone through enough with it with anyone you know you know I, I try to force myself to give myself a lot of trust but like genuine pure innocent trust I don't have that anymore he like killed it okay don't talk like that man that's not good. I don't even know why you're bringing up, like, a relationship that was, like, half a decade ago. Like, the relationship is dead and I've moved on with my life. I wouldn't say someone who works 20 hours a week, a hard worker, but whatever. What's up, Unchained Maidens? How you doing? You can only love someone as much as you can, no more, no less. Yeah, man. Like, I just don't have that stuff anymore. You know, it just happens. It just happens. Jason's aware of all this stuff, though, man. He was the one who was there for me after Chris left. Like, he was there to help keep me going. Like, if I didn't have him, I probably would be dead. I'm just going to be honest. Like, I would be completely and utterly dead if I didn't have Jason in my life. Because I was just, there was just days where I just, you know, was just crying and not being able to, like, handle myself. And I had to put on this fucking mask for my mom because she's abusive and and you have to be, like, normal around her. And you can't cry or have any emotions. And, um... Yeah, Mountain Neighbor. It's a different love. It's a different type of love, you know? It's like, we rely on each other, me and Jason. To lift each other up and keep each other strong because... In a lot of ways, both of us are so fucking damaged in life, you know? Like, he, he spent his whole life watching one person to another person dying. I spent my whole life having one person reject me over another person reject me. So, really, our sense of loss in different ways and different perspectives... It's really kept us together and have, like, a deep love and understanding for each other. Like, I wouldn't change it for the world. And our sex life is so incredible. Like, I really enjoy my sex life now. Like, I never did, really. It never did anything for me because guys are like perpetually like lazy in bed. Jason's not lazy. He likes to see a woman pleased in bed, which is like such a rarity. Like, 
most men, they just want to grunt for a couple minutes and then they're done. Let's just be honest. And I just... Uh, it's like, when does the woman get a little something something, guys? <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, your penis is not gonna get your woman off, okay? No matter how hard you try. Anyway. There's my viewpoint on most men. Most, you, you men are not like Rev in bed, okay? Okay, I'm an ex-madam, okay? Most of you men out there, meh. That's how you are in bed, meh. Because you don't please your woman. Simple as that, you don't please her, okay? You, you, you gotta do some linguine sticks on your woman, man. You know what I mean? You gotta give her some ton... You gotta go down on the... You know what I mean? You, you, you gotta do that for your woman, you know? Cause that... And, and you, gotta, you gotta stay down there... Uh, uh, until she is ah uh, okay and and she feels fulfilled okay you gotta learn how her mechanism works okay it, it's kind of like a key and 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 you're trying to like a keyhole right that's the woman right and you're trying to unlock her right you're trying to unlock the code to to release the ah oh, bliss moment and 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 you have to figure out the mechanism of how to unlock that on your woman which is about 3 inches in and curved up and you do this come on sign you know Cause, cause that that stroke in the other side of 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 the the clitoris, cause the clitoris is kind of like a wishbone shape. Really, it's actually really a bigger organ than what you think. It's not just the little the little bean there. You know what I mean? No, it actually it branches out like a wishbone, and it it you, you know. It has different sides to it. Explore it on your woman until you figure out how to unlock her keyhole. And, and, and then and then you can stop and, and, and do your two minutes of grunting. And you'll have no complaints. Okay. But until you do that, you're going to have complaints and she's going to be miserable. So that, that, that is my little advice to you gentlemen or ladies or ladies, you know. Hey, it's 2022. So just listen to my advice and and you will have no problem with your woman and, and pleasing her and, and her being there for you, you know? Hey, can you focus? Can you focus on me a little, K? 
camera. Why you gotta do this so much? Hey, camera. Hey, 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 hey. I'm, I'm right here. Thank you. Oh, Lord Jesus. I'm really getting sick of these same people. You're, you're, you know, you're like, um, that's right, Mountain. They do. Jeez, dude. I don't care what someone has to say f to me when they haven't been in my life for five fucking years. You know what you are? You're that little kid that heard a joke and you thought it was really, really, really funny. So you decided to say the work or, or the joke over and over and over and over and over and over again thinking that it's funny. You know that episode of Spongebob? when he ripped his pants and he kept ripping his pants in front of everyone and everyone started to get an annoying that's you you're spongebob ripping his pants okay it's not funny it's annoying because it's the same thing over and over and over and over again it gets old find some new material can you think for yourself can you think quickly can you can you cuz i know i can think quickly okay and off the cuff i don't need to repeat the same stupid line and joke over and over again i get the point Good for you. What's up, guys? Let's play some Stardew Valley. I want to relax. We're going to do that. How about that? We're going to turn off the music, man. We're going here. And we're playing the Stardew Valley because I I'm just I'm just done at this point. It's just annoying at this point. All right, so we got to do new because I don't have a file.